Stuck with your iPhone displaying only the red battery screen, no matter how long I charge it? This isn't just frustrating. It can disrupt my day. If you're facing this issue, you're not alone. I know many iPhone users encounter this, and today, I'm going to solve it with you. This video will walk you through several effective steps to revive your iPhone and bring it back to life. First, let's ensure your charging essentials are in order. It might seem basic, but a faulty charger or cable is often the culprit behind your iPhone's inability to power up. Start by examining your charger and cable for any visible signs of damage like fraying or kinks. If they look good, try using them to charge a different device or use a different charger and cable with your iPhone to see if there's any change. This simple test can reveal whether you need a replacement to solve the problem. Next, if your charger and cable are fine but your iPhone still flaunts that red battery screen, it's time for a forced restart. This process can magically resolve minor glitches in the system. Here's how you do it. Quickly press and release the volume up button, then the volume down button, and finally, press and hold the side button. Keep holding it until you see the Apple logo. This forces your iPhone to shut down and restart, which can sometimes kickstart it back to normal functioning. Moving on to more advanced troubleshooting, let's explore alternative power sources. Sometimes the issue isn't with your iPhone or its accessories, but with the power output from the wall outlet itself. Try plugging your charger into a different outlet or connect it to a USB port on a computer. USB ports can provide a different power dynamic that might just be what your iPhone needs to start charging properly. It's crucial that whatever power source you use, it must be capable of delivering adequate voltage to effectively charge your iPhone. Now let's discuss a more unconventional method applying heat. Using a hairdryer to gently warm up your iPhone's battery area is a debated technique. While I mention this, it's important to proceed with caution. Heat can potentially help reset the battery's chemistry, but it can also cause more harm than good if not done correctly. If you choose to try this, set the hairdryer on a low heat setting and keep it moving around, not focusing on any one spot. This should be done for no more than a minute or two. Remember, this method is not commonly recommended and should be considered only as a last resort before seeking professional help. If your iPhone still won't turn on, a software problem might be to blame. Tenorshare Ryboot is a useful tool that can repair iOS system issues without data loss. To use it, download and install Rayboot on your computer. Open the program, connect your iPhone, and select Repair Operating System. You'll need to download the firmware. Ryboot automatically fetches the latest version for you. Click Download, and once it's ready, click Start Repair. The process takes a few minutes, during which your iPhone should stay connected. Once completed, your device should reboot and ideally return to normal functioning. That's it for this video on getting your iPhone out of the red battery logo screen. I hope these steps help you revive your device and avoid any future panic. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more practical tech solutions. Have any questions or additional tips for iPhone issues? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experiences. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.